Hi, welcome to Sher <coughs> Macro Magic. I'm Sherry Damaris, and with me today is Sandy Pakel. We are zooming him in from Florida with exciting news. Um, he wants to announce that he is running his cruise again for 2023. But we also want to talk about to Sandy about what all's involved in the cruise and how he got started in running this cruise. Welcome, Sandy. Thank you very much, Sherry. Nice to be here. And uh, I'm giving you warm weather and beautiful landscaping from Florida to Philadelphia. <laughs> and we're so happy to finally have you on the show. I've only been asking you for two years to come on and talk about this unbelievable trip that you run for thousands of people out of Florida um, called the Holistic Holiday at Sea Cruise. Tell us a little bit about how you started and why you started to run this event. Well, I've always been into education of spreading the word about macrobiotics and people taking care of themselves. And I was started in just doing out of my house 50, 52 years ago, actually. And we, then, we did weekends at hotels on Miami Beach and then we did week-long programs on Miami Beach. We did that for about 30 years, and we did it all over the country. We did it in, in San Francisco. We did it in Palm Springs, California. We did it in Breckenridge, Colorado. We took the show on the road at, in hotels. And then one day I was riding uh, from one of my travels on an airplane, and I read about these conventions that they were doing on a cruise ship. So I go, sounds like a good idea to me, because once you have them on a cruise ship, you have a captured audience. The hotels, everybody was scattered at the end of the day. Some people stayed at home. Some people stayed at neighboring hotels on a cruise ship. That's not the option. You can go overboard if you want to. Otherwise, you're with us. And to be with people morning, noon, and night is a whole different dynamic. It's a whole different energy. And it, and it worked out. The very first year we did it, we had more people than we ever had in the best years we ever had in the hotels. So obviously, it resonated with people. The idea of education, camaraderie, the food, and visiting exotic ports. So it's not such a bad combination. And um, I went on the first cruise with you guys, um, actually when you had Misho Kushi on board. And it was a small group and we started off with the Costa cruise lines. But for now you've changed over to MSC, which is a larger boat and can accommodate many, many more people. And since that time, it's grown huge from what it used to be. Yeah, we've, we're doing like seven times, almost ten times the amount of people we had the first year. Getting closer, we're going to get soon. You know, we're gonna, we've been toying with the idea of doing charters, and we're going to do charters. The next couple of years, we'll be chartering the ships and having the whole ship. Right now, we have 2,000 people that come, which is not such a shabby amount either. So it's pretty nice. And what I love is not only, like you said, you great, go to great ports, but you have wonderful speakers. You take over the kitchen and you change the whole plan for eating. So it's more vegan uh, options for people. And people get to network with thousands of people from all over the world that are like-minded and think, you know, doing the same things they're doing. Um, and attend class with each other so they can discuss what's discussed in the class or they can talk about their own lifestyles from where they are. Um, we're showing a picture of the auditorium which you've been able to fill up in, in its entirety for some of your well-known speakers like T. Colin Campbell, Neil Barnard, uh, Dr. Greger, uh, Dr. Esselton. Um, and some of those people have been on our show and then you get some of the top vegan chefs to come on board and work with the chefs on the ship, which is amazing because they all learn a different style of cooking as well. And people get to experience a healthy cruise um, as opposed to just going and eating as much junk food as they can find on board. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, it's a learning experience on both spots. I mean, for us, to learn in that whole atmosphere of there, to have like to have 165 chefs in the kitchen. We bring on about 15 to 18 of chefs and the bakers. So it's a whole different thing how to mingle with everybody and get along. And trust me, there's been times where it's been very, very difficult because they have to follow our lead. And 
they don't they don't know a lot of the stuff that we do and especially this is pretty interesting the bakers i would say in the history of the holistic holiday see almost every year i think every year the head bakers have always been women and i can imagine the women gone in these italian cruise lines or greek cruise lines and the women telling the men what to do they're not very great at doing that so uh I'm not sure how that how that has worked. You know, it's not worked so great in the past, where the people really don't like it. They they don't like taking orders from the women. Uh, and I had a couple of friends. My niece came on board one year and assisted uh, some of the cooking teachers. And um, I've had a couple of friends be some of the chefs on the on the cruise. And it was really really interesting to hear their experiences. And I also help with the cruise. I help get all the donations, the food donations, um, the little treats that we leave on people's pillows at night, along with any of the um, deck party foods and also the regular buffet foods. And companies always want to come on board to get recognized, especially if they developed a new product. But you are pretty strict with ingredients, which I really like, where you don't allow any uh, processed sugar in in the desserts and in the treats uh, for the guests and I think that's really admirable that you can hold up those high standards uh, especially when you have over you know 4,000 people eating or learning and being in the classes yeah the people some you know it's um, well I'm, uh, I'm I get the red 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 magic mark or black magic mark and go no obviously the final word the final fuck stops here and some of the companies uh, uh, lately uh, now over the years anyway they get mad at me because mm -hmm. they get insulted because they're very popular in the natural foods industry and I won't allow the products there and they, they're very very popular and people say why don't you have them and I say they don't meet the standards so uh, that's it though we stick with the standards and even even the chefs they give me you know menus and stuff and it's not just the ingredients it's the way what what melts together you know whether you're gonna have beans and lunch and dinner or you're gonna have this kind of course that go together it's it's a synergy that has to work out so it's more mm -hmm. than just the ingredients it's a whole way what goes with each other we want to have it as not just that you're eating food obviously but that you're getting staying pretty healthy at the same time because we know as a reputation on cruise ships pete in a very People are very gluttonous about things. They eat and eat and eat. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll give you a funny story about that. So the desserts are pretty great, you know. Uh, and we just we serve desserts at every meal. And the very first year, when I wanted to go on the cruise ship, I went into the dining room, and the gentleman in charge said to me, "It was all set up with crystal goblets and spoons and five water glasses and wine glasses and silverware all over the place. And I said, I said, Hans, we don't need all of that stuff. He said to me, Sandy, oh, lesson well, well learned. If you want to sail with us, you must, with a capital M-U-S-T, at every meal, five course meal, you must have a soup, you must have an appetizer, you must have a main course, you have to have a dessert, you have to have a salad. No getting around it. Because in macrobiotic world and vegan world, who eats five course meals at every meal? We don't do that. <laughs> he said, you have to do it. Well, we did it, and people love it, obviously, because mm -hmm. it's being served to them. What's bad? They sit back, waiters are coming over and serving them in tuxedo waiters or wherever they are, and they give it to them. And when it comes to the desserts, people love the desserts. And so one day I'm sitting at a meal with somebody, and the guy really loved the desserts. And he's, and he's asked to wait for seconds. And on the cruise ships, they are taught, you don't say no. You have to accommodate him, so they'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> and he had a second dessert, then he asked for a third dessert. <laughs> so I said to him, I said, I don't know you. <laughs> Let me ask you something. If you were in a restaurant and you were paying for it, would you, eat, would you order three desserts or four desserts? <laughs> I said, because it's not just a matter that it's free here, but for your health. Would you would you do that to yourself? Eat three and four desserts at a meal every time you liked it because you liked the desserts? I got to admit, I embarrassed him a little bit, but I felt I couldn't I couldn't keep quiet about it. So, of course, I want everybody to have a good time, but that was, I called excess. And like everything else, we're trying to teach. It's not just about 
you know, sailing around the Caribbean. It's education. We're trying to teach people how to get healthy in whichever way we can. There's little hints to do it here and there. Yeah, and what I love about it is I'm such a networker and I'm just ecstatic on this cruise because there's so many people to meet and to hear their stories and their backgrounds. And you make so many great friends and then you stay friends once you leave the ship. And it, it's just like a, a, it's just everything, you know, positive in one little week. <laughs> Of well, your it's life. not just positive, it's not just a friend. Some of them have even got married, some mm -hmm. have kids. Mm -hmm. So we've had some hookups on that because, as you said earlier, if you're going to go on a cruise, why not network with people that are sort of like minded? You're not going to, and we, we make roommates of people, so you don't have to worry about the roommate, whether they're going to doing drugs in the room, like someone in cocaine or getting drunk or something like that. Yes, yeah, of course, people drink, but the drug act, at all, you don't have to worry about. And why not? what a place to go if you want to meet single person and you're a single and you want to meet from a romantic point of view and the other part is just networking with people because one of the factors that we did it was my idea at the very beginning we have open seating in the dining room the cruise lines never have that or almost never have that and this way every meal every single meal you're eating with different people every day so in the course of 21 meals you might be sitting at 21 different tables throughout the week and which is pretty incredible and yeah, of course, sometimes you like somebody, you might hook up with them, you say, what, let's meet for lunch and dinner again and again. But for the most part, people move around. And in addition, we have single tables. <laughs> so this way, the first couple of days, we have it strictly just for singles. So, and we have singles parties. We try to make it so it's social. So it's, it's the idea is education. The idea is fun. The idea is to eat well. The idea is network. And what I love too. The idea too is have a good time while you're educated. Yeah, what I love yeah, too is you oftentimes when you sit down for a breakfast or any of the meals, you could sit next to a, a, a famous lecturer that you just heard up on That's stage right. or yeah. one of the celebrity chefs and you get some downtime with these people to ask some questions and sort of learn, you know, outside the classroom from them. And then you hear about other people's experiences in other classes so you can get information if you missed a class. So yeah, it's true. I insisted on that with the teachers because I didn't want the teachers to go in the ivory towers and stay in their room. The idea I beyond encourage them, you have to be in the dining room and mm -hmm. therefore if you're there for 21 meals, you're there for a week, they might have different groups of people who sit with them all the time. These people, it's like a high, like you just said, it's like a contact high, so to speak. That you're, well, yeah, I had lunch with Dr. Greg or I had lunch with T. Colin Campbell and imagine that. That's pretty incredible for some of these people. Yeah, it's great. We're going to take commercial break, Sandy, and we're going to watch your infomercial about the cruise. And then when we come back, we're going to find out more information about how you can sign up. Okay. Hi, I'm Sandy Pukel, founder of Holistic Holiday at Sea. We are back. 2023. Mark your calendar. March 17th to 24th. Classes, incredible classes. Workshops, fitness classes, cooking classes parties every night and did i tell you three gourmet meals per day main courses and desserts prepared by our own chefs from all over the world we bring chefs from all over the world likewise we bring people from all over the world that come join you you're gonna meet people experiences that are going to change your life people have talked about it for years and years how it's this one week has been a life-changing experience don't miss out mark your calendar march 17th the 24th, holistichology.com. Looking forward to meeting every one of you. Welcome back to Macro Magic. I'm Sherry Damaris, and we're zooming in with Sandy Brickell, <clears throat> president of the Holistic Holiday at Sea Cruise. <clears throat> Sandy, what I wanted to thank you for was 
Um, I know it started off as a macrobiotic cruise and it's morphed more into a totally vegan cruise, but the magic of that ship is that people are sitting in both classes and learning both um, sort of studies and, and information that the teachers are sharing. So I know I was asked to be a speaker on the cruise um, last cruise and it was so fabulous for me to see so many prominent vegan uh, people in my class asking questions um, about macrobiotics. So I always yeah. say that you're really marrying the two together, which is such a beautiful thing um, to get these yeah, people to network. We're trying to turn network. people on, trying to turn people on to macrobiotics. We, in the, and um, it's interesting because in the beginning, um, some people said to us, well, it's a macrobiotic cruise and it's not a vegan cruise, but the food we know, the quality is as good as macrobiotic food as you're gonna get the quality. And the lectures, we have, we always have macrobiotic lectures on there. And we do a survey before the cruise, what's your lifestyle? Macrobiotic, vegan, uh, all-American, whatever it is on it. And the numbers always change, go higher. And we do a post-cruise, much more people are macrobiotic than they were in the beginning, obviously. So it's, it's working. <laughs> it's yeah, working. it's really beautiful what you're doing. And the funny thing is, I know the ship sometimes gets upset because being you know like-minded healthy individuals that we all are when we board the ship we don't drink a lot we don't gamble a lot i mean we, sometimes it's fun to go through the casinos but um they often say you know we're so all like-minded in in you know caring for the environment um having great lectures about climate change as well as eating well and um you know healthy nutrition and and you always manage to get some of the most prominent speakers in the field to come on board, which is really exciting. I call it the dream team. We have the dream team of anybody who's into natural foods or natural lifestyle. We get the dream team to come on the cruise. Mm -hmm. So not only are you learning all this week um, of the cruise in classes, you're getting great exercise because there's yoga and there's Pilates and then there's um, an or early morning group that runs with your friend Larry around the deck of the ship and yeah. there's even um, you know people working out in the gym um, so you're learning all se certain modalities of nutrition but also exercise which is great too well one of the missing ingredients that I think in the world of macrobiotics is people don't embrace exercise enough so we definitely offer exercise, but not just there, but people to go home and realize that, you know, exercise and eating well, it's like a ge geometric progression kind of thing. It's not just one plus one equals two, mm -hmm. it's one plus one equals a hundred or something like that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right? And then the, the other thing we didn't mention was that we have on board every night, almost every night, a deck party. So we'll have, we'll, will sponsor a certain natural food company for the deck party like a pizza party or an ice cream party all healthy foods and people come out at night here's a picture of everybody out on the deck and there's live music um, usually we have a singer or a band um, playing and people get to uh, to network but also enjoy maybe a new healthy product um, the evenings are beautiful. It's usually warm and sunny, you know, during the day. So at nighttime, you can go out on the deck if it's not too windy. And it's another really great opportunity to network uh, with other people. Sometimes see your favorite teacher or lecturer and get a photograph with them and um, just enjoy some really nice music. So you're really having so many um, amenities on the ship between what the ship offers um, as it's the largest ship uh, MSC has. Um, so the ship offers, you know, a spa, some uh, massage, um, some really nice ship stores. And what I forgot to mention is that there's a bookstore as well on the ship. I, 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 I somehow it just clicked where off. You so can, um, where you can uh, get 
the book from the lecturer on the ship as well as get it uh, signed during the book signing um, activity in the evening. And the last, uh, the last bit of entertainment we have on the ship is the talent show. And the talent show is run um, by a person named Blair and every year he gathers whatever talent is on the ship and uh, everyone comes out in the auditorium and enjoys a nice variety show with um, everyone showing their talent. So there's plenty of activities at night as well in, as in the morning and the bookstore is available. Like I said, all the amenities of the ship are available to enjoy. So, um, Sandy, I talked a little bit about the um, bookshop and the book yeah, it's signing. Pretty, people love that. Cause they love, you know, everybody loves it. It's pretty amazing, and they love to have a book signed. You know? And people bring books that they have at home. People come on board with their books from the different authors that they bought already just so they can get it signed. So it's, it's, like, it's a personal thing. People feel good about that. You know, it's, it's pretty nice. And the, and the authors are always very accommodating. They're sitting there sometimes hours at a time signing books. And you can also buy kitchen equipment there. You can buy snacks. You can see the latest, you know, whatever somebody's showing in class. Sometimes there's magnets or crystals or um, uh, Jenny from Curate Soaps has been on my show several times and selling her soaps now on my website. She started off at the cruise selling soaps at the bookstore. So there's this great opportunity to see new products there as well. Yeah, you know what? You know, one thing I want to say, because I know we didn't cover this, but I get notes from people all throughout the year that they say it's like a life-changing week for them. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, we, we say it's okay, it's fun, it's nice, but some people obviously it's it's a life-changing experience. And a couple of stories I'll give you one anyway. A woman from Texas one year, I never met. You know, there's two thousand people, more than that. And you don't. You don't meet everybody. You don't know their names. You see them, but I don't know who they are. And one year I get a check in the mail from this woman who was on the cruise, obviously. She paid the full thing for the cruise. And it was a significant check. And she said to me, Sandy, she says, in my church, we believe in tithing. And what you do is a wonderful thing. And I want to send you this money for you to have because of what you do. It's a pretty wonderful experience. And I was totally embarrassed by it, totally <laughs> blown away by it. And I thanked her obviously for it. She like was just, she was appreciative to do that. And other stories like that too. Another woman gave me a, the largest check I ever got from somebody like that also. It was like incredible. Even though they've been there, they had the experience. They said, we want you to encourage you to keep doing stuff like this to help people and turn people on to this lifestyle. And I said, okay, you got it. I'm going full steam ahead. And what excites me is what I did, uh, I introduced a lot of the speakers and for Dr. Esselton, thousands of people came out, you know, in the auditorium to listen to him. Many who have suffered from a heart attack wanting to change their diet, wanting to learn more about plant-based foods. So it's not just people who've been vegan for years or macrobiotic for years, it's new people as well with questions about their health and how to turn it around. And another fun thing that you do is offer a movie at night, usually some cutting edge movie that has been produced like Forks Over Knives or the Game Changers. We're hoping our brown rice movie makes it up there someday um, to let people know what what is the cutting edge now for nutrition and for plant-based yeah, we, eating. We, we, we've been the world premiere on a couple of times. Mm. We had it before anybody else ever saw it. They mm. gave it permission to do that. Yeah, we have another we have another movie lined up for next year. I got the movie lined up already. Somebody uh, said it's a fabulous movie. I haven't seen it, but everybody said it's fabulous. She's a fabulous speaker. I said, okay, we're doing it. That's awesome. That's really really great. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about what's happening in 2023. What's happening? Well, we decided to do seven days. You know, sometimes we do seven days. Sometimes we do eleven days. We're doing seven days, and we're getting great speakers, and we're gonna. You know, much a couple of movies, as people have said. You know, people like the movies, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna incorporate a couple of more movies, a couple of more panels. 
with people like panels and uh, exercise classes and you know usual fun stuff hopefully and uh, and, and the then what? we're to make it as i keep emphasizing fun and education i can't emphasize how important it is to have a good time it's not just to sit there in a classroom and take notes and everything like that you want to have a good time while you're doing it what could be bad by having a good time having fun eating and meeting meet, meeting like-minded people as you said so we're encouraging that more and more the networking with people matter of fact people said to us can we have different networking opportunities to meet mm. like we've tried to do that with different people like that has pennsylvania over here or new jersey over here or california over here and different even break it down even further oh that's, but that's good idea. We're trying to do that, but people have to be willing to give out their information. Some people, believe it or not, don't want to do that. So right. we're trying. So, Sandy, how we're going to wrap up. How can people reach you if they want to sign up for the cruise or read about the cruise? Uh, we have a website. Well, HolisticCollegeSea.com. The, the website is in progress right now. It's not finished yet, but HolisticCollegeSea is always good. If you have any real specific questions, you could... Always call the number Holistic Holiday at C three zero five nine two eight one zero nine eight. But best to go on the website, and we're going to be taking bookings in about three to four weeks. We're going to be taking the bookings, and we've had a lot, a lot of interest. People, people have been in their rooms for three years now. It'll be three years between cruises, and people are ready to get out, ready to get out and see what's going on in the world. Yes. And we're ready to have it happen and let the party continue, as they say. That's so wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Sandy. And uh, we look forward to... Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all the stuff that you do to spread the word to different people. It's really great what you're doing. Thank you. And um, we really look forward to seeing you on the ship. Thank you, viewers, for listening. And make sure to join us each week and visit our website, www.macromagic.com. And see you next time. Thank you.